though I see the eye. All right. So um, good morning. I am higher vibrations and so are you. And to celebrate this amazing day of ones, I have the beautiful Sharmini with me today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello, everybody. If anyone has any comments or anything that they'd like to uh, have questions or anything like that, please feel free to write in the text, uh, the, the comment section, and I'll uh, we'll we'll see, you know, we'll try to respond to those. So hello, Sharmini. How are you today? Doing great, Pamela. Feeling the sunshine. It is sunny and beautiful here, which is not common right now because it's rainy season. But uh, there's a, a very powerful energy today. And I'm sure we're all feeling it. I certainly am. Definitely. Definitely. Same How here. You? Actually, we have a, a really beautiful day. I was out dancing in the sun just a little bit ago. <laughs> I was too. Yeah. Your awesome. <laughs> so uh, there's just a, a lot that has been coming through and, and Sherman and I had a conversation the other night and uh, just led to this, you know, we, we ought to do this live and have this conversation. And, you know, I, I would like to add something just to put it in there is that a lot of people maybe know Right now, where we're at, um, energetically speaking, is we're here now. There's so much coming in, so much here. And there's um, so a, a while back, um, it was during the um, the corridor of the, the eclipses. We had the solar eclipse and then the lunar eclipse. And there was that was in October. Um, a lot of downloads and things happened during that time. And, and we understood at that time, we were told that the the, the 111 corridor was the real corridor and, and it was I, I i kind of there was a lot going on in, in my land <laughs> in my world and so i didn't really think even to tell anybody about it um but anyway so then we started not, oh yeah we're almost here and that's tomorrow um and just to, to quickly recap you know uh, those who didn't join the the live with elsa and i i think it was elsa and i uh, we were talking about this and it it's thor's day you know, so Thursday is Thor's day and it's Odin's day, one, 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 and all of this stuff. And there's been, this corridor has been rapid or accelerated healing for a lot of people. And so um, now <laughs> that we are in this place and in this wonderful space, Sharmini pointed out that today is the day of ones also. Would you I like to explain that? Oh, yes. Just the math. I happen to notice, uh, Mila, that when I added up today's date is January. So one plus 10 plus 2024, 20, eight. Uh, you know, when you add all that up and put it to a singularity, it's one. It's back to the beginning. It's a reset. It's the new. And it's so powerful. It's really amazing. It's amazing we're here. I'm having like a surreal moment because the big part of me is kind of watching from up here and just saying like, oh my gosh, this destiny is being fulfilled right now. Mm -hmm. This is incredible. This is, yeah, it's awesome. The acceleration, Emila, I when when you called me the other night, which you've never done before like that, and we talked for three and a half hours until 1, 1, 1 a.m. my time mm -hmm. and 3.30 or something crazy your time, um, I was sharing with you that you embodying such powerful listening and the reluctance on the part of the human mm -hmm. and having to just go from, as Elsa said, oh, text message comes, then suddenly plane on the plane. <laughs> the, and and you just kept doing it. You just kept going, boing, boing, boing. And so I was able to articulate to Mila something that I hadn't recognized at that level until the other night, the phone call, that her taking that action, embodying that, despite the fear, despite the unknown, just saying, fuck it i'm doing this because i've got to it's that strong it lit this fire inside so many of us and i said i'm actually feeling and this is on the call the other night i'm actually feeling a fire deep down in my womb right now as i speak that and it's like volcanic earthquakey it's like the sun it's super powerful and i said you stepping in i remember how inspired i felt and still feel mm -hmm. and then you just kept going so that energy has catapulted us and i call it super duper uber quantum you know screw leaping and jumping we're way beyond that now mm -hmm. 
And so Mila, you have just been incredibly, you know, powerful from such a pure loving state and what you've had to do, what you've had to go through, what you've had to endure is astounding. And you're in this amazing place. And I just want to thank you for stepping in and inspiring all of us. And I'm sharing that. So we all know it is safe now. It is so time and we are ready. We are ready. So thank you, beauty, for setting the, the, the momentum, for paving the path, really, because energetically, physically, on every level, you did it and you're doing it. Yeah. So I that just came out. And I just want to say, yeah, that's for all of us so that we know now that it is time and we're safe and we're powerful from within. The pure heart is here, everyone. Time yes. to lead. Yes. Wow. Thank you for all those beautiful words. Um, I, 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 I interpreted it as I was doing it was screw it. You know what? I'm going to be a mess in front of everybody. And I felt, I felt like I was falling apart in, 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 you know, on lives, you know, and, and I kind of was, you know, I kept getting that message too, that it was just like, you know, a person um, in order to, to, we, we need to fall completely apart before we can be put back together perfectly. And, you know, um, so many of us have been like barring our truth and, 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 you know, we'll go as deep as we'll talk about shadow work. We'll talk about working with the inner child though. It doesn't, that's, that's the beginning of it. You know, there's that, okay, now that you've worked and you let yourself see you and accept you now it's time to be you. You know, and like you said, there was also for some time good reason or a reason to conceal self, to pull back and to in some ways hide, you know, but that's no longer the case. In fact, we're being encouraged more than ever. And um, as a request from spirit in a way to shine your light, to let the light be here, you know, and shining your light sometimes looks like you know the the walmart dressers you know the the they do you know whatever it is like i mean what i mean by that just being you you know and like letting yourself shine bright you know and out loud and right now is that time that's why today and tomorrow are when you talk to spirit they always when they point at a time they point in the middle of like a week or something it's like and there's the peak in the middle and this is the peak now you know and, and technically it's one 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 already because it starts with the first day and you know i know in australia right now it's like eight o'clock in the morning on one 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 you know or something i'm probably getting the time wrong but you know and so we're already in this energy and when i woke i woke to a, a frank sinatra song which i don't tend to i'm, I'm very eclectic with my mu music taste i listen to everything however i've not heard this song in forever and it was a song talking about we're here now we're in the new earth and we're doing it. And like, we're, it's time and just joy. And like, I mean, I got out of bed dancing and you know, <laughs> people who know me the past few months, an hour after I wake up, just, just, just don't, <laughs> you know, is usually how it works until then, you know, and the, that wasn't today and it's just celebration. And I haven't woke up happy. Usually happy has to be a choice. You know, and it is a choice, by the way, for all y'all that are listening, you know, we can wake up and feel miserable and then we decide yes. I'm going to be happy. It's not denying things that are making us feel un unpleasant or unhappy. And when those emotions come in that need to come in, the sadness, the whatever, let it come through so it can get out. And yes. so we can have a clean slate and be in the now, right? Yes. I love it. Uh, what you were talking about, that inner joy, everyone reminding us that it is an inside job. Okay. Do not worry about the outside. That is not your concern. It is about your inside. Shine that friggin' light. Light it up, baby. You are so bright. You are a sun, a diamond, brilliant, 
rainbow sun coming back online. You really are. There's a reason why so many of us are attracted to those colors and rainbows and just sparkle and glitter. And, you know, who doesn't love a rainbow? Because there's a recognition that that's you. That's right. you. So it is totally an inside job. Shine from the inside out. The choice thing is beautiful, Mila, because that's been coming up a lot. We finally have a choice, guys. We didn't have that before because we were blocked by design. It was uh, for us to get those deep depths of suffering. Uh, but we have crossed that line. We do not need to suffer to grow anymore. Our true nature is to grow through play joy, orgasmic, cosmic creation, bliss, yeah. ecstasy, energy, uh, just silly, goofy, laughing, wonder, a child, and even beyond a child. You know, there's nothing to explain what this state of purity is. We are embodying it. We are remembering. We are returning. So thank you so much for just reminding us about the choice because we have it now. So every time these energies are hitting you and you don't feel good, breathe it in. Take a really focused, powerful, deep breath in. <sighs> and keep breathing until you start to feel a bit lighter. And Pamela, one thing you shared with Elsa was so powerful related to that is when the headaches were happening for you, that was the sign to go quiet. Mm -hmm. That is the sign to, to breathe and just be, and they calm down. So it's everything serves us. Everything's pushing us. And you know what I got in solstice, all those powerful energies, mm -hmm. every trigger, every pain, every challenge, every despair, every agony is bringing you closer to your God self, to your God spark essence. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now that means we can get excited. This is a master. This is what a master does, guys. You're a fucking master. So remembering that this is you. This is the new. This is the real, pure, true you returning. You got a choice. Take the breaths. You can ask for it to be turned down wherever it's hurting. Um, Amanda Lawrence spoke about this recently. But, you know, you're in charge now. It is from within. You are in charge. And one more thing, hon, the reset I wanted to, you know, just thank you again for bringing that up too, as to all the ups and downs that we go through and to really see that they bring us closer to our God self. And I had a massive reset on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I went to the deep depths of despair. I did not want to be here. And you know what? I sat with it. I felt it fully. I felt relief. I felt free. I just dis detached from everything I let go. And I really felt this beauty of, oh my gosh, when I, just for me describing when I don't care about anything and I'm not so caught up in the good or the bad or the excitement or the, I felt light and I felt free and I'm changed since then. Then a huge breakthrough came because that's the way it always works, dear ones, breakdown breakthrough. Mm -hmm. Let the breakdowns happen. Okay. They're necessary to let the light come in, to let that light shine into that wound. And we're changing all this now, but whatever we got to go through, we got to go through. Let's do it. Let's friggin' go for it. We're here. And the forerunners, we are really stepping in. So I experienced this massive reset. I'm definitely changed. I feel lighter and I just feel more free and it feels really good. I'm balanced. I'm more balanced. So I wanted to share that in case other people are going through it. I mean, I know we all are because that's what we do, man. That's how we learn. That's how we remember. But we are really here. And, and people like Mila and, and me have been feeling this for some time. And now, wow, we're really here, guys. We're really here. Because look what we've gone through since just last March, let's say, when there was massive changes. But forget it. How about last week? <laughs> what have I, I, <laughs> I gone through since a couple of days ago you know yeah. I would yeah it, it's awesome it's so powerful so keep going keep going yeah yeah I mean and 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 if you didn't already get that experience you will and probably you know like I'm finding that um you know a, a lot of people will notice it within a short window of time they'll they'll see a video or or someone talking about it and they'll say i just went through that or they'll say that 
doesn't apply to me. And then a day or a week later, then they're in it. So just to, and it's me that has the delay, by the way. So if any, I'm not able to actually see anyone's comments. My, my technology is going. Burr. So um, I can see only Facebook because I have faith or I can only see YouTube because I have YouTube in the background. So just so y'all know, uh, if you do want to comment and you want me to answer you, please comment in YouTube. I don't know why it's doing that, but technology has been doing some crazy stuff lately. Um, Which is so great. We, yeah. You know, it's part of this reset. And it's funny to watch myself. I can see myself delayed. So I don't know how y'all hear me, but it's really <laughs> weird to watch. But um, and this is not watching myself on YouTube. This is watching us through this. Anyway, um, so we are in this reset. We are in this window of and what is reset? This reset from what I, I'm getting about this reset has it's more to do with. So it's like. Maybe you're a little kiddo and you go out and you play and, and you go and you jump in the water. And it's awesome. And then you play some more and it turns into mud all over your body, you know, and you don't even realize that you're just encumbered, you know. And, and so the reset is like being rinsed off. It's the idea of of leaving density behind, you know. And so um, a lot of people, you know, get kind of concerned when they hear this word. That's why I wanted to make sure that. Um, that got brought up too is that it's a it's a beautiful reset it's it's like a renew and a, a new a new again here comes a new again you know and I, Elsa's language is in everything that happens these days um and so uh just to elaborate a little bit more too is that um uh we are in a new moon and what is the new moon is that it's when we when we sow what we will harvest in the in the full moon right and so we're in this place where it's completely blank slate we're starting and it's it's not that um i would even say that a lot of the things that we've learned lead to this week or probably this month or probably probably starting in october really but anyway uh, <laughs> it has been us leaving behind some of the things we've learned because they worked for us then when we had training wheels you know, and now we have a different uh, be able, ability to look at things and see what's really in front of us. So um, and that's right. That's the time we are in right now. Um, there was something else that you had said that I was so distracted by technology. I wanted to, to, to comment on, but I forgot. So I'm giving it back to you, Charmini. Ah, take a moment. Let's all take a moment, actually. That just why not take a moment? Let's just be. That's a new way is being. Yes. The new way is just be. It's empty. Not full of anything. Yeah. <sighs> and what's to be? Didn't we talk about be? Be's been a conversation point forever. This being, just be. You know, the be. And the, the honeycomb and all of these symbols have come through consistently since 2007, <laughs> you know, and it's not stopped. You know, I, I, I re recently changed. I was asked, I was told I was met by the grandfathers and the grandmothers in the forest and it was beautiful. And they called me Mila. And they, when they called me Mila, that was the first time that someone called me a name that I liked, that I felt like was mine, like my whole life. I've picked different names. I was I was Randy for a little while. I was Sirsha. I was a lot of different names. I was trying to find what higher vibrations, you know. Um, and so when this occurred, it was they explained or I saw because when you talk to these energies, it's like you're going into a bubble. And when you walk into the bubble, you're in there knowing. And so that's the conversation is that you just know all those stuff. And you forget you don't know it until you leave the bubble. And it's like, wait, I forgot. I wanted to ask, make sure I didn't forget the thing. One of the things that they showed me was the paw of my name because the father wound just was finally healed. The completion of this father wound that I'd been um, reluctantly healing for so long. And that actually goes exactly back to what I wanted to say. So I was guided to talk about that. Is that is the, the fact that there's elements of us that may not feel that beautiful when we're in them 
you know, and so we, we, as, I mean, if, if something hurts, we jerk away from it. We pull our body away from pain. We f pull every, and this sensation is, um, short lived if we allow ourselves to lean into it, to actually experience it. Like Charmini was saying, you know, let it come through. And when we let this come through, then we find that it's actually euphoric. You know, when we let the sadness in, instead of trying to cope through the moment of it, in my experience, it made um, it be relieved. And in fact, and I'm, it, it was so was such a euphoric experience that it was almost orgasmic, being depressed for that moment as it moved through my body. Being sad, being mournful, was it felt good. And it wasn't some weird, like, morbid um self-harm kind of thing it, it's allowing it to be and i don't need to control anything about it That's and as it moves through then we then we dig the the roots of it down into the ground mm -hmm. and let the sadness go into gaia because she wants it you know what emotion is energy in motion energy in motion so who taught us somewhere along the lines all of us seems to seem to have picked up this thing where we're supposed to grab an emotion and own it and keep it forever. When when we're doing that, we're 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 stopping its motion, and it will stay because it has a loyalty to us. It wants to help. Oh, you need me, I'll stay, and it stays. And another one, and another one, and another one. Before we know it, we are over encumbered, and we have these these false anchorings to a reality that isn't even real. It's not even real. When we let ourselves feel it and go through it, on the other side of it. And this, this is within moments, five minutes. Logic says, why was that something that bothered me? We forget why it even bothered us. Once we let the sensation, it meaning we assigned the, the emotion to an experience that had occurred previously. All of a sudden that experience no longer affects us. It's no longer. And in, we find that in fact, thinking for so long that we were imprisoned, it turns out we were the warden. The prison guards ourselves keeping us there and so to allow yourself to experience it and to release it is really doing yourself a great service and carmen was first <laughs> <laughs> i want to i want to pop in with that uh, mila because that is so powerful um realizing that we're everything but as the human, of course, we are disconnected from that. So there's no blaming ourselves like, oh, I trapped myself in this jail. No, your soul, and this is just my take on it, your soul, basically you as soul, which is a much bigger multidimensional aspect or fullness of you, designed everything, the blocks, the parasitic implants, you know, the dark entities, attachments. It's all inverted here. Remember that this is a grand experiment of separation. So everything's perfect. That's the other thing that me and Mila were sharing the other night on the phone. That remembrance, it comes in its own divine timing. But if you can bring that to the forefront, even in your worst times, this is actually supposed to be happening because it just is. There's no judgment. It, it's a pureness of the isness of the being state that is not trying to get somewhere else, is not trying to get out of it, not run away, not change it, not fix it. And same with you or the people involved. Now that's not easy, but it comes with mastery, remembrance and practice. And that's why we're being hit so hard all these last months, even years, but really accelerating to just remember that it's always perfect. We're perfect, nothing's wrong. There will come a time when that will be our default through mastery practice and initiations and remembering, and we'll actually get to relax. That's really the key is this deep, deep level of relaxation, total and complete, full body, soul, mind, everything just, ah. Oh. Mm. you know what that does then you're free and your soul your yeah. true divine will the one that's always been in charge gets to come through 
and you as human get to chill out, relax, and actually play, actually collaborate, actually connect in that way. That's what we're doing. It's incredible. We're embodying this master, huge energy, our soul in this incredible physicality. You're incredible. You're a fucking miracle. You made it this far. And, you know, even when you can't find relief in that darkness, because it was hard for me personally, and I carried, uh, you know, planetary darkness. So I want to remind everyone, most likely, especially if you're a way shower, you're carrying a hell of a lot more. It's not you. Okay. It's not your partner and just the two of you or your family or whatever. It's a whole huge thing here, but just, um, realizing this is what I need to go through and not trying to escape. And even if you do try to escape, that's okay. Like ultimately accepting everything that happens and the perfection it this comes with practice initiation these trials and tribulations which bring us closer to our god source essence who we really are that which we are returning to we're not the body we're not the emotions we're not the trauma we're not our family we're not the stories we're not our partner we're not a pet we're none of this okay we are the all we're the everything all that is and nothing so just it's huge it's huge you're huge you're huge in your true essence so just being with yourself being kind taking it easy and when you lose it when you go into a puddle of tears that's exactly exactly what's needed the way i ended up in my deep despair on sunday was a trigger with my uh, beautiful divine partner sven my husband And it's been going on for 15 years since we've been together, this thing. And I realized afterwards it was perfect. And then the deepest knowing, the deepest knowing of my power, of the fact that for me, I was shown on Monday evening about an hour or two before Mila was totally strongly guided to call me. The fire crackled, sorry, the fire crackled my name. The bear spoke, Brother Bear right yeah it is weird (laughs) amazing and i just want to say for me it was this i saw guys i saw the after party i saw all my role players smiling and congratulating me charmony you did it you raised yourself to your highest frequency you realized the game and the play and now we all get to rise to that highest frequency of all that is and seeing and knowing it all and now we shake hands and all the ones that hurt you or stretched you or pushed you or betrayed you they were they're there they're there waiting and congratulating you and it's a big party and celebration so the fact that i could receive that and and sven is like my number one (laughs) role player because we have really pushed those buttons for each other over the last 15 years and gone through crazy life changes together uh it just it was so beautiful it is so beautiful it is amazing it is and it's it it, it's it's work it it takes Decision, choice, deciding, you know, I'm going to do this. You know, there's been some comments here and I just wanted to add. Sherry Kitchen says when it starts to move, become unstuck, it can really hurt. Yeah, it does. It doesn't feel that great because, you know, and, and, and we not only we piled it up, but we've gotten out of the habit of experiencing it. And so it feels bigger. It does feel bigger. And and we have conditioned ourselves, whether there was outside conditioning coming in, we then choose. We we participate or don't. Most of yes. us, I would say, have participated and just didn't realize there was a choice until recently, you know, and so we're starting to learn that there's a choice. And so as these experiences come in to unpack, yeah, each one needs to be seen. You know, there's this, this thing that I had done as a child. Many of you know, I, ca- I came from uh, a trafficked, I was a traffic child between the ages of four and, you know, I was 14 and a half when I, I was left, I was able to leave that home um, in that situation. And, and, and I bring up this, this trauma only to say that it doesn't matter if it's a big trauma, which I had some of them and, or a little trauma, which whatever you want to do, if you're judging it to be a big or small, that's, that's all you, I, it's all the same in my book. It all feels exactly the same. What I did is it turns out it's called quantum healing. 
I was 13. I had no idea what it was. Uh, the Palladium started coming in and guided me to do it. And so I did. What was it? It's experiencing each moment as if it's happening like in fantasy was kind of what people would call that back if I would have said it back then. It was not fantasy. It's more, uh, it felt kind of like remote viewing through the past, time traveling in a way, because it was real. And go back to those moments and we experience those moments. Um, the moments that we ignore and deny and don't want to see and don't want to look at. We want to talk about what it made us feel like and stuff like that, but we don't talk about the actual event, the thing. And this is the place that our soul is fragmented to. The, you know, we've heard about the, we've had fragment, we want to bring all of our fragments back to ourselves. So the, the thing that I was doing, especially at the beginning, was I was coming in as a different person. I was coming in as, as an a, a adult -er version of me and stopping the, the, the event. I was changing the story and empowering myself and then finding that child that was me and comforting her, you know, and telling her she's awesome because no one ever did back then, you know. And so and, and I use the same negative talk to myself that I would repeat, parrot back what I would hear anyway. Um, and then after a while, I started to go and re-experience those moments as myself in those moments, you know, and, and taking back my power. You know, sometimes I was rather violent in this imaginary place. Um, and I would replay the same moment more than once on some occasions because it wasn't done. Um, this does sound more like morbid reflection. It's that's not the intention. It depends on it, what your intention is going into something is what colors the experience. Um, and I started to do this a little bit at a time here and there. And after a while, it became a nightly activity. I would do this every night. Um, each one of those moments that I re-experienced, I, I recollected self. I recalled, I recollected myself. I recalled myself to myself, these fragments, these parts. And I, it's okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be in whatever emotion it is. The, I would say most people don't know what their trauma is. Most people don't have the ability to do what I'm talking about. But those who do, where I would start, we would we find that the bigger the trauma, the louder it gets in the room so the other things can't be seen. And so when we start this activity, we find after a time that there's what you would call smaller and smaller things being able to be heard. Lastly, if you don't have these experiences in, the, in, in memory to, to recall to, allowing yourself to just experience it, um, whatever the motion is that's coming through, and to not judge. It doesn't, you don't have to know where it came from. You don't have to know why. You don't have to own any of it. All you have to do is say goodbye. Thank you for serving me. You brought me to this place and have brought in so many beautiful things. They are servants to us. As an, as you had mentioned, we, we made these choices. I remember picking my trauma. It happened. It happens regularly, you know? And so as we pick this up, then uh, we're able to, then as we heal through it rather, then we're able to lighten the load of those around us who have identical or similar um, difficulties. And then they can to start to look at this, these elements of trauma that need the healing. And right now is the best time to do it. Right now, the accelerated healing window is, is at a close, which is awesome. So now it's squishy love light and it's like bouncing on bubbles and play like like the world is jello you know and 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 do whatever it is correct for that's correct for you honoring yourself and not having to wonder why you know and to let it move so you don't have to be in that place anymore i love that and pamela i'm uh, sorry mila you have shared something very powerful that when you crossed over in your NDs they were not interested in the bliss experience because that's all that's available up there. They wanted to know the nastiest, most agonizing, horrendous suffering and, and pain because that's what they don't get. And honestly, remembering that the human is the hero. You are this incredible multifaceted diamond. You're a fractal of source. You are a fragmented soul that's coming back to unity through feeling and healing, not needing to know where because it could 
could be mass. I mean, it is massive. It's collective. It's planetary. It's going back lifetimes. It's ancestral. It's familial. So really, mm -hmm. uh, for my own personal experience, I don't concern myself with where it's coming from unless you're able to, like Mila's able to, just feeling it and, and reminding myself in the worst agony, this is what I need to go through. This is actually by design. Nothing is my mm -hmm. fault as the human. This is perfectly mm -hmm. serving all this is serving source this is serving all in this holographic game for me to return to myself so that i can free myself at the highest level and mm -hmm. really embody that means knowing and feeling and being that pure gnosis that oh my gosh everything can discharge these emotions will neutralize in divine time it will happen we're supported now more than ever and this is a threshold we're at you know the reset uh for me also involves a lot of deaths and rebirths letting the old parts of me die letting my patterns die the way i looked at things the way i thought i knew things the way I was stuck in perspectives of looking at situations or even things I've learned in spiritual awakening. Let all that shit go. Let it all go. Fly into the wind and just be this purity. And by being that, your soul, the real you, the big you, your God spark, your God essence that you truly are comes through. And it talks to you it gives you visions you have feelings and the other thing with that is how unique we all are so there's a lot of you know uh falsities as we know and it's all coming to light now all is revealed yay the age of truth finally in the spiritual realm as well and that is this these ideas that we all have to do it like this or hey you got to get silent you got to go and i tried i did crazy things and i ended up in horrible situations like going to a remote island for a month in the winter and all the power got knocked out just scary scary stuff i was totally isolated it was terrifying and that's where I learned, you know, to that I had to breathe. I had to feel this terror. And there was things that happened that were frightening, too. But honestly, it took me for a ride because I didn't have the ability to ground at that time. But just really understanding that we're all unique. So I, when I finally recognized that just recently, like my mm -hmm. deep gnosis comes when I'm walking in my hallway here or, you know, Sven just got a bunch of incredible energetic wisdom and remembrances in the shower after our big, you know, um, trigger. And it, it left him ecstatic. He, he just remembered he's a master. I'm a master. And we are on this journey and we are remembering. We are learning. And he just came out going, oh, my gosh, this just came through. And that couldn't have come through if we hadn't had the trigger. And he wrote an incredible poem that was so simple. And, um, you know, I'll po I posted on my YouTube. But anyway, it just speaks to the fact this is all by design. Everybody's my brother and sister. It's all me. There's really only one here split playing a game um, and that everything will be shown all will be shown so in realizing your uniqueness because myself I didn't learn in silence I kept waiting for my silence to come I have periods of where I zone out whatever but usually when I zone out I'm just empty nothing came in but they came in while I was doing things and these incredible deep remembrances came in when I was moving and active so that made me realize why am I beating myself up why am I trying to force myself to be silent and do crazy things to get there and look what's happened as a result? Nothing is wrong, but you realize, wait a minute, I'm unique. Whatever way I'm doing it is fucking right for me, is right for me. And that's the power. You're no longer judging yourself, beating yourself up. There you go. There's the war. The mm -hmm. inner war is what creates your outer war, your mm -hmm. inner states of tension, of pressure cooker, slave driver, beating up. All of these things, not good enough, is creating your external reality. And so that peace has to come from within. It's an inside job, realizing I'm a unique fractal of source. And what you do, your design, is so valuable everybody's is equal everybody's is equal here 
all of it's needed. And so when you realize that you are pristine, you really are. And so there's nothing wrong. And even in loops, because I found myself, why is this trauma still looping? For example, yeah. between Sven and I, or, and I tried so much, but, you know, we had to go through what we had to go through. And now on the other side, as Mila and all of us, you know, experience, it goes so fast, you know, when you're, you're looking back on last 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years, right? It's life does yeah. go by fast in this time dimension, which we're also quantum catapulting out of. So just recognizing that everything serves, the looping serves. Your human mind is not going to figure out why the hell it's still continuing, despite your best efforts. You just have to come to a place where you change that perspective. Every time I have a trigger, a discomfort, I'm getting closer to my God self. I am becoming my mastery through this initiation, through this practice. So recognizing your unique beauty, don't let anyone tell you how the hell to do this, what to eat, where to be, how to go, please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I so many things and my greatest freedom is what felt horrible I wasn't allowed to fall into any pattern any modality any you know way of being so I just wanted to be this practitioner and then I could say well this is what I do and look I'm blah, blah. but no the uniqueness would not allow me and now we're in the place where your uniqueness is open and being shown to you so trust Trust yourself, trust your soul self, and just know that you are perfect. You cannot be anything else, and it cannot be any other way than what is unfolding. And in that acceptance comes a lightning. You raise your vibration, you relax, you let go, and then things can get smoother. It doesn't mean the challenges aren't there. It means you can handle it better. It mm -hmm. means that, you know, wait, this is bringing me closer to my God spark. My mastery is returning. And, and this is really accelerated right now. The gifts and the remembrances and the connections, it's awesome. So we're really, really in this magical place. That was the other thing. Magic. Yeah. The magic is everywhere. The dragons came in. I'm not a dragon person. I never related yeah. to dragons. When I first heard about dragons a few years ago in a group, I was like, what? What is that? Yeah, <laughs> so, yeah they came in. And it was so incredible. I felt so much excitement. And this was before my despair thing. It was a few days before. It shocked me. Source, diamond, dragon. It was an energy. Uh, I was shown some visions, but it was really an energy coming in. I felt very high. I was in nature when all this suddenly started happening to me. And later, that energy told me, look for the magic in everything. This is how you change your creality. You don't look to the outside. Why is it not changing? Why is, you know, nothing that different? Or why is, you know, my life, my, you know, the magic that I felt, this, this really rainbow sparkle world, I was kind of getting frustrated. And I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> like, why is it taking so long? And so when I, when I had Source, Diamond, Dragon come in, it shocked me. And I was filled with excitement. And then the, the guidance to look for the magic. It's there in the most, yeah, I can't even use the word mundane because nothing is mundane. Everything is extraordinary. When you mm -hmm. change your perspective and you start to realize there is magic everywhere. Yeah. You become the magic. You become the paradise. Yes. You become that world that you want it is first inside you must find the magic you must make the choice to look for that joy look for that feel the pain do not ever run from it those are the most powerful things and that's what they want to know on the other side as mila has powerfully shared but look for the magic it okay. is everywhere especially now and it's not going to come from outside. Nothing is. Yes. There's no one out there. There's nothing really out there. It's all illusion. Even though this whole thing is a play, the most real thing is inside you. Find the rubies and diamonds and sparkle inside you. Yeah. And and just grow that. And then it will, it <laughs> will change. It has to because you are the source. 
you are the origin of your creality. And there also with that is the play, you know, we will go through our, our challenges, but can we play more? Can we laugh more? Can we look at things four, 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 four on the video? Wow. And when you were, uh, yeah, when you were sharing something profound, I thought two, 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 two. So that's, <laughs> but for the time of fours. <laughs> the time of fours, I forgot. <laughs> so play. We got to play. If you want a playful world, if you want a light, sparkly, joyful, free world, you got to free yourself. You got to find it in you. You got it. You're the key. And and last thing I saw in this vision when I was talking to Pamela the other night, I saw that as I raise my vibration, this key literally ignites in me. And this blast of energy came out of diamond pure source energy. And that changes my creality. Nothing is too much, everyone. There are no fucking limits. I look at people uh, externally and I get a bit frustrated. And then I realize, let it go. They're my role players. Those are my teachers. I got to believe in me. I got to know thy true soul self. Beyond belief is knowing. I got to know me. And I know Rainbow Sparkle World. And I know oneness. And I know unity. And I'm not fucking stopping till I get there. Till I become and I'm not going to let anyone tell me, well, no, we got 10 years of tribulations. No, we got to clean up the oceans. We got to plant trees. We got to do med beds. We got to do that. I'm like, ah, I started to feel yeah. like, oh, God, well, how the hell is Rainbow Sparkle World that I know? You know, this is me. This is my soul. For years, I'm getting these visions. Now I know more than ever. So I had to, I had to really know thy true soul self. And I said, oh, Charmony, let all those people go. Let them be them. I'm happy. And those are my role players. They're going to be waiting for me when I finally catapult and they're high-fiving me. Girl, you did it. So I just want to share that with you. No, you, your goddamn dream is inside of you. Thank you, Mila. <laughs> you are the dream. Exactly. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. There, You brought up a bunch of different points. I, I'm not sure which direction to take this yet because it can go different ways. But I'm going to say this one. The Rainbow Woman. Let's tell us the story about the Rainbow Woman because you brought this up. I don't know if you noticed that you brought it up. We're talking about having um, miracles and how miracles come, you know, and there's a lot of uh, different types of miracles. So we'll look at a miracle in a biblical sense and it's like the burning bush, you know, or the whatever, the seas part and these types of things that are, are pretty big you know, and um, on the outside. And this, what I mean by on the outside is for a group of people in witness of it. And then there are the, the, the miracles that, that are smaller, that, that seem, um, they are very profound to the one in the, in the moment of this miracle, you know, um, experiences like finding yourself, which happened to me being, uh, I actually was um, uh, forced off of the road on the way up here, by a distracted driver and all of a sudden there was a Mack truck in front of me. Like literally, he didn't even have time to not, he didn't even have time to honk. I mean, we were, and the steering wheel pulled inside my hands that way and then did it again the other way and lined me up. I, I, I and it, that's, that's one of these kinds of miracles. This is the one I wanted to say. And I just, I knew that is also something amazing that happened was um, where I am right now. So um, there are a lot of different, you know, teachings and belief systems and all this stuff. And I've always resonated more with the, the Native American spiritual way, you know, and I come from a, a line that I don't tend to try to point it out too much because it's like, look at me. But my grandfather and in his heritage and this whole Navajo and the stories of the Navajo and the Hopi, because that's where I lived and just that's where I spent my the bulk of my life. Anyway, so we talk about the Rainbow Warriors, the Rainbow Tribe. We're here now. We're in this time. We're in this time of this rainbow. And what is the Rainbow Tribe? It's people from all walks of life. Not simply, it has nothing to do with race isn't real. You know, there's, it's not talking about that. It's talking about the colors of your spectrum, of how you're bringing in what rainbow sparkles over here talks about, right? You know, you're the, you're, you're these, we are all a resonance of, of whatever we present that, that comes through as a color, you know, people know about this. They, they talk about auras and things like this, you know, so we bring, and it doesn't always stay the same. 
People do, I just got my aura red. I'm this color. And it's like, well, you know, right then you were. And that's awesome. That's probably correct. We change and shift based in the moments that we're in. So the end of the story that I've always known about, I didn't know where it was at. I didn't know. I knew about the rainbow cave. And I knew that we would be there. And I knew that it was like, so the rainbow cave is made out of completely crystals. Like it's ceiling, floor, walls, crystals. And, and I've seen it multiple times. I've been guided to go there in, in remote viewing. I still don't know where I'm at in a lot of the remote viewing that I've been prompted to do. And I find myself there in the physical. And I'm like, oh, I thought I was in a different country. I'm just, you know, anyway. So I, I'm in meditation and I awake with this word on my, in my mouth that I needed to say, and I was, but my tongue didn't want to do it. It was twisted somehow. Well, you know how you just can't say a word because it's when it's set up here, it's, it, and I don't know how to roll my tongue very well. And so that, that might be part of my brain thing. But anyway, um, then only a few hours, three hours later, yes, the crystal cave, but we call it the rainbow cave. Um, when I was taught the story. So I find that fascinating because it, it shows you how it's linked to all of this other. So it's, this is the end of the prophecy, by the way. The end of the prophecy is the beginning of the new. And this prophecy tells us that the rainbow woman will then show. Okay, there are four caves. They're very sacred and important caves. And they are in perfect alignment. And we're in the center. We're off a little bit, but we're in the center and where we are. It's perfect alignment for the total solar eclipse that's going to happen in April. And a lot of people are coming here for this event. While all of these people are here during this great awakening, the rainbow woman shows. And I don't know if it's that moment, but I feel like everybody coming to this is part of this. It's not just me and my event. I'm not talking about that specifically. The whole area around here. Um, is they're actually price gouging on the hotels because people from all over the planet want to be on this mountain during the eclipse. She's to show um, people the rainbow cave. And in the rainbow cave, we were taught what is left behind by the star people. And the star people teach us in this cave, the what's left behind, how to communicate, how to speak with all places, all energies, with God, with oneness, with all things. And this. I didn't know any of this was here. I didn't know until I, I, I asked or someone else brought it up three hours later and said, we need to, to go and check out Manitaka. I don't even know if I said it right. Um, and, it, and then it was connected to Rainbow Woman and the whole story and that we're, we're here. And, and I didn't have any idea. I just knew I was supposed to come here and that we were going to activate this, this, this beautiful crystal mountain for this time. Why did that come up just now is that in the days of uh, the the native people where there wasn't before, you know, pre uh, European invasion or however, the, I don't even know what history is correct and what is anymore. Um, people from all places would come here, pioneer to, to this area to this, this greater area. And there's these, 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 hot, these springs, these hot springs, and there's just a lot of stuff about it. The Mayan would come as well. Every so many years, I think the Mayans came every 11 years because it took them like eight months to walk here. <laughs> and like some would come here every seven years and some areas would come here annually if they were, they were local enough. The miracles that are spoken of this story of these migrations that happened all so frequently is that then there would be circles of people. The elder men would gather in their own language here and here and over here. And we actually have a path of the circle of Surat, the, 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 the social circles. There, there's large boulder stones in a circle. And then over here is another one. The miracle of what would happen is that each of these groups, they would speak their own language and they would sing their own songs. And you would hear some song from, from the Cree and some song from the Mohawk and you'd hear. And then the miracle would happen. All of a sudden, everyone would start singing the same song. Words that they didn't know the language for. They didn't know 
It was light language in my opinion, but they would start to sing. And that was the miracle of why they would come. It would balance everyone. And there was no longer separation. There was no longer your Sharmini, I'm Mila. There's us, we. The answer is we. And so, and, and that is, and the story I was listening to, this elder speaking of this story, he called these the real miracles. And you brought up these smaller miracles that we have in our day-to-day -day lives that we may not even recognize as a miracle in the moment of them. And this is really the, the, the true miracles. Find that all things in spirit are meant to be gradual. And I ask over and over, over the years, and they've always answered back, things that are rapid do not last. If you want it to be long lasting, it needs to be a gradual thing. And I know that most of you are like me. You want to rip that bandaid off. You don't want to do one hair at a time. Come on. You know? Yeah. But if we don't do it one hair at a time, there will be a lot of hairs missed. You know? And, and so all things are meant to be gradual. So the nature of the types of miracles we're talking back about, look back. Like Sharmini said, look back. Look not look back to last March. That's a great one. I just got a download a few weeks ago or something. That was what they said was if you think last March was cool, like and like all of a sudden this swelling, exciting energy. And I was like, whoop, whoop, you know? And, like, and then all of a sudden I found out there's like three eclipses in like two week period at the end of March into April. One of them we're in the middle of. <laughs> and like just all of this stuff and so um and then lastly we are moving into the the the, the space of fours the space of fours the quadrinity and a lot of us understand and know what this this trinity stuff is and yeah it's very important it's important for us to for a lot of different reasons to see self and to be in that self and know that it's true they've been showing us that three six nine twelve 4, 8, 12. That's why we're, we're merging in the, in the 12 to get from the, from over, over here in the Trinity to the quadrinity. Simultaneously, the four giants, I'm not have, I don't have my map behind me. I should probably put it on. Um, I have this map that shows you, it looks kind of like this. The, the, it's, it's a whole bunch of rings though, like around each other. And in the center, there's a, a ice wall, the ice caps, and there's four holes, openings, spaces. These are where the four giants have been standing. And now they're slowly rising. And as they rise, there's displacement in the water. Simultaneously, this entire ring is melting. This ice wall is melting. So it's kind of like changing our ocean and the pH of the ocean. Did you know that we're going to return back to pure water? It's so cool. So here we are. It's really cool. And that's the part that you brought up while you were talking that I, would, I needed to, to mention. So thank you for bringing those things up. I love it. This is so divine flow. Pamela and I agreed and uh, no scripting, you know, the real way is just spontaneous soul flow and being organic and trusting the bigger part of us yeah. that whatever needs to be said or shared in this moment, which yeah. is based on the current energies in this now, is perfect and will come through. So I love that. I didn't even realize I was going to say any of that, plus that it would remind you to speak of Rainbow Woman and the whole prophecy. So it's incredible because the, the other part of that is really remembering if there's no limits and you all know that that's what's said and that's what we are, we know that there's no limits. You are boundless, everything. So why are we limiting ourselves in any way, shape or form with our visions and what we hold? Why are we stuck on the inverted? And this is just the question that I came to ask myself as I was like, why isn't anyone else talking about Rainbow Sparkle World? Damn it. <laughs> See these incredible crystalline rainbow forests and seas and I'm flying and we're flying and we're shape shifting and giant winged ones with huge rainbow wings come and take us but we also have our own wings and then we change into water beings and we're flying through the water i mean 
I see and feel incredible things. And I know that's just the tip of the iceberg. So there was a frustration for me. I was sharing with Mila on our call a couple of nights ago that I was, there was a little bit of like, I don't know what the word is. Was it confusion? Was it doubt? Frustration? Probably a bit of all of that has been coming up lately. And I'm like, man, people that I kind of look up to are talking about tribulations for years other people are talking about making everyone wealthy or crypto and i'm like Mm -hmm. that just is for me personally repulsive because where i come from and i'm sharing this because if you're listening you're here you're open to this you're part of this there is no exchange exchange is from lack Okay, exchange is survival energy. We are transcending, we are alchemizing, we are renewing, returning, rebeginning, resetting to the truth that you are source, you yeah. self source. There is no survival in unity consciousness. If you didn't know that, you know it now. Okay, it does not exist. There is only being and playing freedom there's no rent there's no goddamn businesses like i could not relate to this and i used to beat myself up and i felt like a Mm -hmm. loser i couldn't fit in until i saw myself which wasn't that long ago and soul told me about the healing eagle analogy which is charmony the healing eagle flies where it flies and it already has agreements on a soul level and knows who it's to connect with and heal The minute you trap that eagle and put it in a cage and start booking appointments and start charging and telling it, okay, eagle, at uh, 9 a.m. you have a family, at noon you got a couple to to help with you. I mean, Mm -hmm. come on. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that as a transition and part of the experience that we need um, for the inversion. Okay, but moving forward, and it's just what I hold. This is why I'm sharing for you to believe and to know your true soul self. What do you hold? What do you hold? If there's no limits, what's inside of you, man? Yeah. Woman, (laughs) everyone, you know, and, and to really understand that you have to flow with you. So mm-hmm. I had this, I'm like, eh, you know, these business models, it's all great, mad beds, great, clean up there. But I saw this is a limited way of looking at things and being. Because true limitlessness knows this is the inversion. And we don't have to fix all this shit and be stuck in it for more decades or hundreds of years or whatever the craziness is. We are here to catapult the yeah. forerunners who hold the unity consciousness are from the future where we are one. Okay, there's no exchange. We're free. We literally play. It's your soul design just comes through your heart as your being. And so that's where I know I come from and I got tested a lot and I had mm-hmm. to suffer for like a decade and a half where I felt like something was wrong with me, even though I helped thousands of people in pure spontaneous soul flow. And Mm -hmm. I did try, you know, the clinic thing and business and it just felt so gross. And I just, I was like, ew, like after a few times, it wasn't me. So again, I'm not saying anything's wrong with that as, as part of the learning and growth here. But what I'm saying, moving forward, moving forward, none of this shit. There's none of this. There's no need for money. As the light being told Mila on August 31st, when it came out of the blue and she went outside at 11 o'clock at night, everything is free. Everything is free. That's unity consciousness is true freedom. So I want you to start imagining a world where you don't have to do survival. You don't have to do a job. You don't have to have a shelter, food, nothing. We are the technology. There is like things you've seen in Star Trek beyond that. The replicator. If you want cheesecake, you want chocolate, you want the best burger, you know, no one's got to die. No one's got to suffer for that shit. It just crystallizes. Literally, you Mm -hmm. you just create it through your thoughts and you get to enjoy it. Okay. There's no suffering and pain. And there's just this massive dance with the soul songs, the soul tones, the soul music, the soul colors, you recognize the other uh, souls from your monad, 
which is just your frequency. It's just part of who you came to play with. And you get to play with those beings in whatever way in the moment. And there's no ownership. There's no jealousy. There's nothing. It's all divine innocence. There's a purity and there's an ecstasy. So as humans, we've never known that to be possible. We can, we are the orgasmic energy. And this is not like this physical idea of orgasm is actually the lowest level of this energy. Imagine every bit of your skin sparkling in gemstone. This is your light body for me, your hair, everything can shape shift change in a moment. And you are filled with this tingling and this orgasmic energy is just your being. This is normal. Okay. It is. (laughs) Isn't that? Thank you, Mila. Because I know Mila experiences that. And I just got to share, I'm not a drawer at all. Okay. At all. And you can see from these drawings, but I just was opened up a, a cheap, you know, pad from the dollar store and I bought cheap crayons and I just look what I drew. And I'll tell you, I, I remember drawing this. It was probably six months ago. And I thought I made like, I thought this is stupid. I'm making a mistake. Like what? And I started with this. I didn't even know it was a diamond. And at the end, I put a heart. And I showed this to Mila in a call we had. And and I told her how I I had to change my YouTube name from Unity Harmony. Just that that felt right at the time. It rhymes with Charmony. But uh, to Diamond Heart. And she saw this. She goes, that's your Diamond Heart. Your Diamond Chakra is open above your head. And I just want to show you this is the kind of magic that we all hold. Okay, look at this. This is the Diamond Sparkle Rainbow Universe. The eye that sees Mm -hmm. all this is a cosmic quantum catapulting okay and i did this um after the other uh drawing and these take like five minutes as you can see i don't spend a lot of time and then uh crop circles started showing up that was this the eye okay so i'm telling you because i haven't really seen anyone in my creality talk about the things that i talk about rainbow sparkle world and talk about these visions that I've had for years, I've had to really dig into myself. And I share that because that's what Mila's had to do too. That's how you arrive. This thing, this whole game, this whole journey is about you becoming one with you, which is why I've always said, you're the one. You're the goddamn one. You're Neo. Okay, Neo didn't know he was the one. But he recognized, he finally under pressure when he was going to die, you know, when he was shot by Agent Smith and he was going all silver and metallic, he had to dig deep. And in that moment, he found his diamond light body and he stood that all that stuff dissolved. And then the light just blew up and his whole he blew up and he blew Agent Smith right out of the water. Right. So that's what we're doing. When you realize you're the fucking one, you really are for you. There's a huge you here. There's a huge you, a multi-dimensional, fully whole, unified you. That's what you're doing through this journey, remembering, renewing that. Anything is possible. And even the, I want to plant the seed, creating things out of thin air. Okay. Yeah. It's easy. It's totally mm-hmm. possible. Nothing is impossible. Okay. Fucking nothing. So please, people, please do yourself the greatest honor and open your heart to this. You must catapult. If you want that world, you know it's in you. Then do not pay attention to the other things outside of you and those that are speaking about these little piddly steps. You know, we have to fix this and got to do this and get it. No, my dream, my soul dream, what's inside me is a quadrillion billion times bigger. I just said quad because you, <laughs> I'm guessing four <laughs> quadrillion. I don't even, I was like, I've never said that word <laughs> bigger than anything that exists here. So just know that there's nothing to worry about. There's nothing to worry about. There's only to, to put the energy, the time, the love and the, the beingness into you into you that's what i was shown that vision two nights ago was all my role players going girl welcome to the party you finally got it you got that it was you you got that you become one with you and you know you 
boom. So, you know, I feel different since then. And it was after my despair and wanting to check out and feeling all that and being with it. And that was a death. Okay. There's a lot of deaths on the journey because we have to die. The old us, this personality, this thing that looks at others and thinks, oh no. Okay. Well, they're saying it's going to be years in this way. So I got to, I got to believe that, you know, but it doesn't feel right inside. You know, I remember when I wished I could just be like, yes, I want to join so-and-so's movement. And I, and then it would be so easy to plant trees and do this and do yeah. that. And I'm like, I don't want to do that. That's not what I came for. I'm like, ew, I don't want to grow my own do- goddamn food. I'm just going to be really honest because <laughs> I know that we can create anything. We are the technology. We're crystal, dilithium, beyond, diamond, rainbow rays. I mean, this is limitless, okay? No limits. Really think about, really feel. What does that mean? What could that look like? Allow your childlike wonder and imagination to burst forth. Start drawing with no idea of what you're going to draw. Start playing more. Start watching. Oh, watch The Last Dragon if you haven't seen it. I told Mila to watch that with Maddie because what a beautiful movie. It is actually the story of humanity's fall and our ascension. Mm -hmm. And it is so glorious. And the dragons, especially the ending scenes, are so beautiful. But Mm -hmm. I was wishing for movies that show me this rainbow sparkle that I have and that I feel. And I search YouTube and I search, you know, and they're kitty things. And I, I find little bits, but nothing that shows what I feel inside and what I've seen through my third eye and my inner and my inner visions. So I just share that to inspire you. Because you got this too, man. You, We all do. Every single one of us. So what's your paradise? Exactly. What's your real- Thank you. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. No, no, it's perfect. Exactly, sister. Carry on. Yeah. I mean, and to, to just highlight what you said too, or just to echo back, I 100% is the higher frequency I go, it, it is orgasmic there. Uh, is the best, the, the closest thing we have to compare it to. The, the odd thing is, is that you get used to it really fast. <laughs> it becomes the novelty wears off really fast. You know, your first thought is, well, if this is what it feels like to be at this frequency, I'm never going to get the dishes done. <laughs> you know what I mean? But And then it's like it's regular. That's what it feels like to be happy in this frequency, you know, is to be in space like this. Um, 1144. Sorry. What was that? Oh, when, yeah. Hey, it was, it was 11, I, when you were speaking of all that, amazing. I was watching the numbers. Yeah. Cool. There's oh. something to add. Um, you reminded me of a lesson that I didn't understand I was learning. I didn't understand the lesson of it. Um, wow. Professor Maddie, again, and I brought it up in a show or two. Um, she came in and she said, um, when a crab looks up and sees a fish f- swimming, he thinks that the fish is flying and she wandered on again. And I I was just like, "Hmm, that's really interesting. Then you just said, when you were telling your story about Neo, because we are the chosen ones. In fact, in, even in the Bible, we're called the chosen ones. Some, some versions say that Um, in the book of Matthew is talking about this time. And you will hear hear, um, rumors of war. You will hear rumors of famine, of plague. These things will not affect you though. Uh, Many people today, especially, are feeling this echo. Just so you all know, that's what you're feeling. Most people, that's what's happening. Um, And, and, you know, there's also, like I said, some of us feel the reset. And then the next day or the next week that more people will feel it. It's just kind of how it works. Um, Anyway, this water, you brought up the water. um, And... Oh, also in that book, part of the book of Matthew talks about the speeding up of time. The dot, the the days will will speed up for the 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 chosen ones to spare us, basically. And boy, has it, man! That I kept getting a few weeks ago. It started to come in right after the new year. The new year, it was like it's twenty twenty five, and all these other people are getting it too. So it's like we did have enough stuff that happened in in the this last year that it really could have been. I keep going around, but I wanted to point out the fact that energy, where we are, how it is around us and with us, as whether or not we are literally in water, that's a whole thing. 
but as water, it's like water. And so if you notice, if you put a drop of food coloring in water, then it mm. disperses and be and it's shared immediately. Burdens are shared as well as celebrations, as well as victories and successes. You know, these things are shared. We're all in the same pool. I mean, you know, some people are peeing in this pool. You know what I mean? And like, but most of these energies that are here in this pool with us that we maybe don't perceive or see in the way that that others might, um, you know, it's uh, really in this, they're right here. They're right here sharing this space with us. They're part of this water with us. It does look like that because when you move through it, you kind of see the bend of, of these different, it looks like a cobwebby that goes in every direction. And we have every hair on our body is connected to somebody. It's just how it is. It's really, it's crazy and awesome. And so when we move, we see it bend kind of like they try to do, they try to show these examples of space that are their decision of showing us that that's how things work. Um, I don't resonate with a lot of that stuff. Um, anyway. So if you understand where we are, that we're really basically in a big ocean that can be turbulent at times. It can be calm at times. It's easier to see through it sometimes. And other times it's murky. There's all of this different stuff that it doesn't mean this is got forever too. You know, if, a, if you're having a moment where it is kind of a little bit more chaotic, we're also noticing that when that happens, when the waves move the hardest, they reveal the things that were covered up by the sands. They clear things out and they release things that don't serve us any longer. Um, you know, and, and wh where we are right now in this frequency. So you talked about Germany. Um, People saying that there's like these, it's going to be down the road and there's this and this and this. And there was a time in my life where I was told different dates. And then later on, I was told another date and I was energy of uh, spirit telling me these different year. It was a year. Um, and the last time I checked in, I, I decided not to check in on that anymore. Um, the last time I checked in, we were uh, so ahead of schedule that we were at um, where we would have were planning to be in 2050. And that was before I left Washington. That happened back in the end of October, 1st of November, actually. Um, anyway, so all of that in, um, our here now is also called a bridge. We could also call it, if you wanted to, visually, it's a little easier to comprehend sometimes, a stairway that each step isn't hard either. It's simply allowing yourself to go to that step. And how do you go to that step? By, by acknowledging that some of the things that we use as identifiers for this existence no longer serve us or maybe weren't even real. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to feel bad, shame, you know, what I can't believe I believe that. It doesn't matter. There's no us in them. There's nobody who's more spiritual. There's nobody who's higher frequency, higher vibrations is all of you. That's why I always say, and so are you. We are. I am the I am and we are all of us. And so if we can allow ourselves to realize our own power and that that's not putting ourselves ahead or above someone else, that it's you are powerful, you are mighty, and we are many. And right now it is time. Each step we step up, we're leaving something else behind. Something else that we thought was important. I thought for the longest time, it was important to carry around a bunch of shit, a bunch of stuff, materialistic bullshit. Yeah. That I didn't even know why it was important. It just was important, you know? And um, we left with three suitcases in a box two boxes, one had my computer in it and, and left everything. I had a storage unit. I had the, I, I did the world, you know, none of those things served me. And I got to say goodbye to each thing, you know, and that was very healing and purging. This example is being brought forward because it's, we do the same thing with all these other parts of us. 
This was easier to point at because it's more physical. This is something I'm giving away. This is something else I'm giving away. We're doing this here too. You know, they talk about um, getting it off your chest. They talk about, you know, expressing yourself to what, to what is, what is express? It's to release, to purge, to set into motion. This is that your breastplate is a really high frequency sacred geometry plate. And it reads like that. You can see it, these ghostly, awesome colors of geometry move and, and do this thing. When there's too many things piled up here, then, the, then it's more difficult to move through that. This is where we usually put our trauma, especially when it comes to self, low self-worth talk, low self-worth belief systems, limiting. Limiting is a really good word. And it, people were saying it in the chat while you were talking, by the way, before when you were talking about all this limit. And as we remove these things, we realize our association to them. Most of the, the experience of the average American or as because I'm here, you're, you're in the Americas too, so you count. You're also because you're Canadian, but that's America. Yeah. Um, is that, you know, or, or who, wherever you're tuning in from, the experience is, this is what it's like to be me. Well, do you need a Starbucks coffee on your way to work? Then that's one thing they perch. Do we need to have, you know, these types of, 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 of things that we think we need? I need to be able to pay for these subscriptions. And you don't realize how many monthly subscriptions come out of your card every, every month. You don't look at maybe. And all of these different things. When we purge these links and these associations, this is another physical manifestation. Is trying what I'm trying to show, is that then we we uh, we uninvest and we choose to no longer participate in that system. What's a system? A system is a breaking system. All things are breaking, and just like you were saying, we don't have to go do some type of heroic act. You're already doing it. We're not here to to reforest the the the, the forest. We're asked to go to the forest and maybe to talk to the trees. You know, we're, we're not being asked to liberate any one body. We are simply being asked to acknowledge self in true form. Mm -hmm. When you're at your happiest, when you're at your most blissful state, what is it that you're doing? Playing. How do you play? Some people play their 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 kind of play is with a calculator i've seen this it's really fun to watch that person at play you know some people at play is i like to play in the garden i am that person and there's no judgment against anyone who's not or is it's just everyone has their beautiful fun place to be you know and i my play is also running around with the kids or chasing the chickens you know, or, or whatever it is that we're doing, you know, driving the tractor and saying, singing E I E I O to myself, you know, like, by the way, it starts spreading the news. We are here today. We are, <laughs> should I sing it? I don't want to sing yeah. it. No, I'm not gonna uh, it. No. But somebody asked what the words were. Because it's and, from Sinatra song. It's, it's, Sinatra. It's, supposed to, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to, I can't remember the real words anymore. I'm trying to look it no, up. Anyway, look the message um, that you wrote it out was awesome. Look, oh, the biggest part of it. And it's called the new, new Earth, New Earth. Right new now, earth. we're here. Right now. Dun, dun, I was, dun. Go ahead. You sing it. Go, Charmini. Go. Oh my gosh. I really could, but I need you to sing with me, girl. But not that good at singing. <laughs> I, I love to sing. I love to sing. I have been working on this. This is one of the problems, uh, or not problems, but things that I've, I've been working to heal is I love to sing. And yeah, everyone that's up until the past few months, everyone that's heard me sing has told me to be quiet. <laughs> Even my daughter, she walked five acres as a toddler to ask me to stop singing because I was ruining her playtime. <laughs> but yeah, you know, so well, now we're the new girl yeah. and you're an awesome singer. <laughs> so there now we're the real words. I'm leaving today back yeah. to the very start of it. New York, New York. Yeah. Okay. So, but so yeah, we're here today is how it goes. And then it, it was yeah. like, um, we are the biggest part of it. We are the biggest part of it. New earth, new earth. And this, this, it just kept going. And that, that's the only, and I didn't, the rest of, and then it would just cycle. 
and cycle. Just like all messages that come through, usually it's Sandalphon, Archangel Sandalphon brings these for me. Sometimes I'm singing it out loud and don't even know I'm not singing the right words until I'm like, oh, I whoa, you know, and like, and then you realize you're supposed to know that. It's always in perfect rhyme. Um, I don't think about it ahead of time. Anyway, this is to show you whether it validates you or not, this is where we are. We're here now. It was celebrating. The celebration music was happening when I woke up at sunrise. We are here. It's time. And so all we got to do now is realize that we are real eyes. Is these, are these where I realize or is this? Our real eyes is what it feels like to be inside of you without all the bullshit, without all the half twos, without all of this other stuff. We're leaving behind all these frequencies. And like Charmini said, including the financial system, all systems are breaking and have been broken and are no longer something that's here. Technically, they've not been here since the 40s. The the bullies of the playground have been running the, running the show while the teachers left the freaking ship in the 40s. And so when people start to realize there really is no government, there really is no any of this stuff, that we're making these choices. Did you know that that, that income taxes is a choice that people make? Every You don't actually have to do it. You don't have to actually do it. Legally, they'll tell you that you do. There's a whole thing about it. You're welcome to, to investigate if you feel like it. This is a real world example of a participation choice that we didn't even realize we were doing. The world that we're in is abundant. All things that, that is needed for you to be 100% happy, 100% of the time, is 100% available all the time. 100% of the time. And it's just reaching out and taking it. And not stealing, not removing from someone else. It's made available. It comes to us like magnets. And in the frequency of celebration, we forget. We forget about these systems and we participate in our oneness and our soul being. And what is the soul, by the way? The divine masculine is the light and the divine feminine is the water. And in united, in unity, they are soul. This is what soul is. All things are brought to life by these elements as well. The sun and the water grows the plants those types of things. That's one example, but the soul of our soul, that's what they keep telling me. And this water theme has really been amazing to, to witness. So anyway, thank you for letting me go on for so long. Go ahead. Would you like to say something? I love it. I just, I'm just absorbing all this, you know, I love it. This momentum that we are both bringing forth, uh, creates a ripple because as we know our true soul self, and I'm saying this for all who listen or on the replay to anyone who sees this, I mean, that is the origin. You're the soul origin for your creality, your experience. Understand it creates through you. When you leave this physical body, your little bubble disappears, right? So everything you experience, this is why we all have different perspectives and experiences, even having the same trauma or the same accident the, or two neighbors will see the world very different, even though they're right beside each other, same neighborhood, same area, all of that. So realizing, again, the power is you. And when you recognize yourself, and the bigger you gets to come in through unifying, through loving and healing, accepting, feeling everything as it is. Neutrality has been a huge part for me. And it is honestly the eye. It sees everything. It stays in the middle. Otherwise, you're feeding one side or the other. You cannot leave duality if you're still feeding anything, any story, any drama. The real freedom is to work on your mastery, neutralizing, balancing, bringing back to zero point, no judgment. It's a game. No victim, no victimizer. Everything is from the soul design. We have been the murderer and the murdered. We've been the rapist and the rape. We've been the molester and the molestee. We've done it all. We've been the rich and the poor. This is so that we can expand at the soul level, not the human doesn't realize all this, but the human is the real hero, the one going through everything. But as you start to elevate your frequency, you get this knowing that you have been everything. 
and you are all of it and and you're also nothing you're the zero point you're the one watching and so everything becomes available and that's the thing is all these realities exist already everything is at once all yeah. is simultaneously occurring at once there's only time and the density the grand experiment of separation that we the heroes the bravest, strongest masters agree to forget, to come in and experience this depth of pain where you can murder and, and uh, t- you know, uh, torture and all kinds of things. And so um, really recognizing that when you know yourself, when you become one with you, nothing outside can falter, create any, any um, you know, any doubt for you. Because you just know you, you know you, you know your pure heart. This is a heart thing. This is not a mind thing. Yeah. The mind is never going to figure this out. Yeah. The soul comes through the heart. And when Pamela talked about how powerful the breastplate is, for me, that's where the high heart is. Mm-hmm. And I just like, wow, that's the portal. That's the portal of our creality, how we project out from within. All that internal energy and chaos gets projected out. But when you become peaceful on the inside, that gets to come out. When you become paradise on the inside, that comes out. When you become magic, because you are magic, it's just covered up by a bunch of stuff and you're remembering. And there's so much support now. That's why everything's so fast and so much earth energies, cosmic energy, solar energies. Start to turn it around if you're feeling, oh, you know, because I know what that's like. We've all been there. But how about, whoa, I'm getting upgraded. I get more magic and miracles. I love how you brought in the miracles because I always say magic and miracles together. Mm -hmm. And so just knowing all realities exist all the time. Yeah. And I've experienced, and I know you. we all have this, where you get to go to paradise. You get those feelings. You get those realities. You're there. It's like, oh, my God, I know this is real. Whether it's in a dream, a vision, in nature, or you're just laying on your bed, and all of a sudden yeah. it's like, wow, you know. So they all exist right now. It's all available. And the veils are gone. It's up to each one now as also by design. But when the opening occurs, it's up to you to use your choice. Mm -hmm. And that is to focus on that and to bring that to life within you, knowing it's there. Like I know, and this is what I really received the other night. My rainbow sparkle world is right there. Now there's no rushing. Okay. Cause the, what's the point, you know, even though sometimes I'm like, come on, man, let's just like get it over with. But there is a lot of expansion and learning uh, that we experience getting to that point. However, how, if, how about if we could do that through joy and play, that's yeah. the joy. Like what if that starts right now? And it does, it does. And so it's here. It's just us recognizing and real realizing as Pamela said the third eye realizing you know that what I feel what I know when I let go of all the externals what other people are saying or showing or speaking of when I allow my true pure heart this is a heart thing and my soul to come through that is my power And it is gentle. It is so beyond loving. It is magic. It is light. It is fun. It is silly and goofy. And it is ecstasy and bliss and orgasmic. It's all these things. This is true creation. This is the true way of being. And we are now in that space where we can embody this more and more. And the more of us do it, the more it ripples out and spreads and opens up the others, the other aspects of me. Because it's all one in in your little game and universe. And and when you arrive, you realize that. And then those that agree to be with you at those other levels, they also play with you. It's it's all perfect. You're not worried about anyone. You're not... Because at that level, your gnosis, your peace and calm, your unity is, you know, you know, it's all perfect. And so you're just like, my God, I'm here. 
This is awesome. So remember that it all exists at once and it's just a matter of the frequency. And so we do get glimpses and we get experiences and they're increasing now. I know mm -hmm. mine is, and I'm sure I know Mila's is. <laughs> so oh, <yeah. laughs> that's fine. There's so many signs, guys. So, you know, it's go within yourself, go within yourself and start letting that space of you come through the big you the true you and just know there's so much magic there's so much there's only magic and miracles in that place and that's what we're bringing forth into physical this is the friggin incredible thing we're doing and why we are so amazing i mean i don't have words for the awesomeness because it doesn't exist we are beyond you are the most brilliant sparkling diamond rainbow crystal rays and energies and and shimmering that exists okay that's really who you are and what you are and mm -hmm. now you get to connect in with that more and you get to let that come through and you get to experience that more it's you yeah. it's within you it's not anyone or anything out there so take that time and put it in here put it in here take care of this love this recognize this look how far you've come it's easy to forget when you're being pummeled pummeled by energies and you're struggling or things are coming up for clearing so sit down take a breath right now look how fucking far you've come because i know you have because my world has been blown apart and inside out since for me 2010 but it started you know 30 years ago and so yeah. Just this last year, just this last month, just this <laughs> last week, look how far you've come. And then when you give yourself that space, you break the beating up, you break the despair cycle, you break the why isn't this changing? Why is it taking so long? I can't take it anymore. I've been there many, many, many times. I carried collective suicidal states, Franco told me since like 2010. But, you know, all we all have a lot. We all took on a lot because we can that speaks to the capacity and the complexity of your soul. The more you carry, it's because you can. And at a soul level, you're like, yeah, I'll take that. Give that one to me. Oh, that sounds really bad. I'll take it. That sounds so exciting. <laughs> bad as in, you know, uh, as tough as it gets. Yeah. So just recognize your bravery. You're, you're a hero. And you're fucking the most brilliant crystal flower lotus sparkly just shiny gemstone and jewel you've ever ever even seen or dreamt of yeah. and really start to recognize you're not this thing this thing is 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 a beautiful vehicle this avatar uh and this name charmini or mila or you know whoever for this incredible journey to drink the coffee to feel the sadness to lose everything to have a breakdown you know, to experience love and heartbreak and all of it, childbirth and, and deaths and everything. Mm -hmm. But you're not this. You're mm -hmm. way bigger. We're getting to connect to that big part. And that's why our heads can hurt so much at times because, whoo, is a lot happening. But everything can hurt. You know, the low back. I love how Elsa spoke about low back pain in that clip you shared, Mila. Um, on your wall recently, it was like an eight-minute mm -hmm. clip because I had low back pain for like 30 years and I'm like I did have trauma there but it feels like a, a chip of bone is broken off and stabbing me or like you know but I have a high pain tolerance I didn't realize till it got better how excruciating it was yeah. and how much all of us I feel a lot of us are like that so um just really recognizing how fucking awesome you are give yourself a break man and more than a break give yourself a pat on the back right. and love and just be like shit shit you're amazing you're alive this didn't kill you. Okay. This didn't kill you. Cause I know, I know myself, I should have died and I did. And, and Mila experienced numerous NDEs, like nine or 10. So if you're still here alive in a body, you're mm. fucking awesome. I don't care what you look like, what state of health or finances or any of that bullshit. Okay. You're, you're, so powerful so start tapping into that feel that every day it didn't kill me i must be amazing i must be really strong and resilient incredibly strong and resilient 
Mm-hmm. So I'm going to keep going and I'm going to now start accessing ease and flow because I'm doing the work, becoming a master again, remembering and not running away and feeling and just taking that ownership of everything that I as soul created for me as human, yeah. even when it's the worst pain, you know, just this too shall pass. This too mm-hmm. shall pass. And what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. It's true. And you never get more than you can handle on a soul level, even though the human, of course, will feel like, you know, so tortured and so beyond, like, just, I, I can't take this anymore and get me the hell out of here. But I'll, but those, those sayings are truth. Mm -hmm. And it's time for us to step into our power from within, from your heart. This is not a head. This is not an ego. This is such a deep love that you don't have words for this capacity of love. You are in such, it's like a blossoming. It's like a blooming, you know, it's just like this massive rainbow pillar energy just shooting out of your heart and just beings of love. You know, I used to joke around about love bombing people. You know, I picture Mm -hmm. like this incredible, just boom, 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 you know, just spheres of rainbow, sparkle, diamond, crystal love, you know, being shot at people because it's just, yeah, being, I don't, shot isn't the right word, but whatever, you know, (laughs) and just, and just know, yeah, just know, just know you're all this and more and you're really you're beyond beautiful. You're beyond amazing. You are a fucking miracle. You are the miracle. You're everything. You are everything. Let that sit. Let that sit. So well said. Thank you. And many people are commenting, saying, wow, just they love you. You're really resonating with a lot of people. Um, I wanted to add to this victim story we talked about because that's with a lot of what was just talked about. Um, we are no longer in the time of the victim or the victimizer. We're no longer in a place of resonance where a, a, a murder, a martyr, can exist. Martyr. I, yeah, the Love martyr. Um, the the resonance is you need to be a person needs to to live or exist in a place where the victim energy's there. Victim mentality is what we're talking about, um, as well as, by the way, many people I've, I've heard recently have misinterpreted this a little bit. Um, when we're not when we're no longer in the time of the victim or the victimizer, that's also showing you your choice. So we're not saying allow yourself to be. Have someone accost you in some way. That's you no longer participating in this and able to do so. To be empowered is not to overpower. It's to be in your frequency and your knownness. You can say no. I've been told countless times throughout this life, people judging the word no as something unloving. Only those who want to overpower or to control will say such things to you. And so that's just something to consider. We're not in the time of being victimized either. We are in a time of being powerful. And so this is the the example of what it is that we're doing right now. It's called the breath. Whoa, it's like hovering too. That's kind of cool. I love it. Um, where it's the breath in. Okay, so we started out. Can you see my finger? Here we go. Um, I'm delayed, so I can't. Back here in this spot in the in the 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 places where it's like little teen it's hard to do it because i can't see myself live i'm delayed um You're, you got it girl you got okay. it it's good right okay. now perfect so we started right there or, or we breathed out to there and now we've been slowly breathing back and so we're going back to our soul fractals what is this example of here the, the this bubble here wherever it is there's this bubble is the the, the first out breath of god source, whatever you want to call it. And then that doubled and doubled and doubled and doubled. This is an example of a spiral that actually looks um, like a circle from above. But then if you look at it, you can see that it's actually a spiral. And we've spiraled out and we fractalized and we fractalized and then became embodied and then embodied and embodied. And what we're doing right now is so crazy is that we're going, we're, is the breath back in. 
It's the rolling up of the scroll in a reference to what the Bible says. Um, that's what they call it. And as we breathe back in, we're still embodied, but we're going back to our higher fract or higher selves is an example of that too. And how is that done is just like what, what Charmini was, is, was so beautifully um, explained is that as we move <clears throat> past the frequency of believing that there is something that we have to do or that it believing in the limitation and this is limitation too, you know, these eyes, these eyes are limitation too. Did you know that there's actually uh, cones and rods in our, in our pineal gland? The rones and the cause are what the rones, the cones and the rods are what make the eyes work, make it so you can see. Before we could see blue, we had two cones. And now before, not too long ago, we had three. And then I started to get messages from the children the children around that that are in tune that we're now getting the for a fourth cone a fourth cone yeah the fourth cone is the 44 44 when you said fourth cone i'm sorry and thank you for telling me that's awesome yeah 144 ooh, ooh. oh my goodness and so um this third this fourth cone gives you the spectrum of light of ultraviolet you can now see ultraviolet where we bring in the light in this higher heart place. If you actually pull back, people talk about the seven chakra system. They forget about this one and this one, you know, and so if you look at this higher heart space, this is the center of here and here. This is Christ consciousness, people. This is Christ consciousness. This is joy. This is joy. This is jesus energy this is whatever you want to call it and so as we have energy and light coming down we have energy and light coming up and it meets in this place this expansion place and we find that most of the lights actually coming through with right here well we're also having activation in what we what i call the dream chakra because that's where our soul comes into our body is what the kind of a, the experience of it in an appendage way and for me, the, I'm not actually getting headaches anymore. What my my experience is right now is it actually feels giddy, but it's a pressure up. And it's been happening on and off for a while since October. But the pressure up, the motion that's moving up, it feels very amazing. And I've gained height. I've gained height. I'm tall. Me too. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah, our spines, once this pop, this thing happens, at first, I would have this popping of my spine. And that's why we're talking about this is that um, my dad broke my back. And, and when I was 14, that was when I had this understanding and download about when I came back then, I found out about that I was coming to the North Ozark Mountains. I didn't know that had anything to do with Arkansas or any of that stuff. I just knew this is where we're, we're going to be. And I needed to be there by my birthday. My birthday is March 27th. And so it's the end of March and I didn't know a lot of, I, I knew that it was going to look like a, an egg and a sperm, <laughs> but, um, and that, and she is born, he is born, they are born over like this. And turns out there's actually going to be a comet going or going along really, really close to the sun when it, when it's in total eclipse. And wow. so it's a sperm going into the egg, right? Oh, by the way, I just barely saw, like I got on the computer, I was outside dancing in the sun, got on the computer, getting ready to go live and click on this to be with you, Shermany. And um, something popped up, I, my computer rebooted without, or not rebooted, but they updated without consenting me. It's so annoying when that happens. But it brought up this like news thing. And it said, Japan just caught a uh, space rock slamming into the moon and there's, there's audio or video of it. And it was similar to this idea, but that's, you know, a, a kind of, it goes along because of the sun and the moon. Um, and then that we were to be here at this moment. So here we are and we're amping this energy up and a lot of people are feeling some kind of way about it because the energy is coming in. It feels different than you're used to. It feels a lot different. Um, yes. The activation that that we are on the other side of, technically, I mean, when you talk about it in like the most detailed way, started in August. 
It started in August. And so what we're doing in completion right now is the end of that cycle. And so you talked about how Franco told you that you're like encouraging higher self and going, your higher self's going, yeah, let's go, let's go. I um, had a really profound experience of that during this, right before all of that stuff started happening. It was before I had um, told my story on the Sology Network and like the, 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 the more complete version of my childhood. And um, right before that, I was I was doing that. And I was acknowledging myself, trying to say, stop, what are you doing? I don't need more healing. Like, cause they're like, okay, now you're good. Now you're good. You don't have to, you know, I'm like, hey, now it's time to ride it out. Well, everybody else is in like, you know, tribulation. Then I'm like, well, I got a minute. Let's do more. I'm like, no, I don't, you know? And then there it went. Like any of you been following me, what happened in September? I was in the void, the whole of September, all kinds of weird stuff went down. I ended up going to Texas and like just weird and all this healing came up and all this stuff. And we healed this land and I experienced a metropolitan city for the first time in my life. And I was just abandoned in this spot because I was supposed to, I wouldn't have gone there if I thought that if I knew what it was going to be like, um, all of this has to do with the fact that we're doing this breath in we're re we're re recollecting, we're recalling ourselves. I, I like to visualize as a pieces of Play-Doh and you kind of like take it and you, every, t every step you take, you're becoming more of yourself. Mm -hmm. And so that's what we're doing right now. And sometimes that, bo that moment when you make that collision, it doesn't feel that great. Are you all right? Oh yeah, I'm loving it. I'm breathing and then just my own little light language quietly was coming out because I'm just feeling it. Very lovely. Like. What's that, sweetheart? If you'd like to share it, you're welcome to, but you don't have to. Oh my gosh, that's so sweet. You know, um, it's interesting because it started maybe uh, two or three years ago, and now it's just natural. Like, I don't even realize I'm just breathing with my friend, and then I'm like saying, you know, and I actually do it when I see traumatic things, like online. I naturally start because I feel the love, and it neutralizes. That's so sweet. You know, for whatever reason, I feel like the light language of course everybody's different and just in this time as i i could not listen to other people's light language mm -hmm. and some was really shrill and really and then other people loved it but then i it's interesting jason estes said something about he does light language he keeps it to himself so because it's meant for him and it can sometimes distort others but anyways so for whatever reason if if it felt right i would absolutely do it i feel like just you know having it quietly there uh, and in its natural way is just the energies here so but thank you so much for asking I was just so like ah as you're talking I just felt this like wow I'm breathing this all in yeah. and then just a little bit uh you know started to come because that's that's just what happens I love how you shared that Mila that is you carry so much incredible information and you do so much and you be so much. And then I want to tell you, watching you in September, October, November, December, like right through, um, you are amazing and you are amazing. I never saw anything weird or crazy. I'm often amazed at how much you are able to hold your capacity and also embody what you do, all these huge these are massive in this density, so much moving, changing, last minute, go, just, you know, jumping in as you, as you do and you spoke of. And honestly, it's so powerful. It's so powerful. The ripple, again, the earthquakes, that fire energy of inspiration mm -hmm. in spirit, it's an ignition, what you're doing and how you're being. So just thank you. Mm. I just, you know, as an outsider viewing you, I want you to know nothing looked crazy. It was so inspirational, amazing. And your guts, you know, like your strength, <laughs> your balls of steel, ovaries of steel are just beyond. Very inspiring because we have to break these old ways of being or being polite or people pleasing. I don't want to hurt. You know, I've noticed now in my interactions, I am forced by soul to be truly honest if 
if something is uh, not right or aligned, I speak it, but there's a, a neutrality and a love and it feels so empowering. And then the other person, like even in our conversation, we helped each other yeah. or I was feeling some polarity about something. You said, Hey, you know, uh, and you reminded me the love. And then when well, you were feeling polarity and then we both laughed, yeah. it was awesome. We neutralized a lot. Yeah. And that's so empowering, guys. That's your power is neutralization. You're you're a fucking alchemizing machine. Okay. Mm -hmm. Picture yourself as this powerhouse. You're a powerhouse. And all the darkness and all the pain of this planet, all these incarnations, all the separation, all of it is coming in. And you're doing this mastery work, this incredible alchemicalization work you're transmuting all that back to that which it truly is pure mm -hmm. source love that divine nature that's who you are what you are see yourself as this you know whatever way you want to visualize you as this brilliant multifaceted diamond sparkling but you're taking all the junk you're taking all the pain all the yuckies which which is our gift of why we came here as Mila spoke about to expand for all because these these get recorded so nobody has to do this shit again thank yeah. you god thank you Shar. thank you Mila thank you each yeah. one of you <laughs> that's what we're doing because it's done and yeah. it's all recorded and so the the worst separation and pain and agony and suffering is done it's recorded we don't have to loop anymore in this shit and and we are empowered now so you are this incredible you could see a rainbow light sphere i don't care how you see it for you but just recognize what you are you're a forerunner you're at the front your first waiver or pre waiver as mila pointed out recently many of us feel it before um, it hits others but, you know, it takes incredible soul to be here at the front. And we wanted to at the soul level, even though, like, mm -hmm. I love the experience you shared, Mila, because, yeah, that was like, I was like, please, I can't do this anymore. This is crazy. Take yeah. me out and just start, like, take it back. Give it back to the family members that I was crazy enough to say, like, oh, I'll take that on. Oh, they don't want to do it. I'll take it. Oh, collective darkness. And most people don't want to do it. I'll take it. Plant here. <laughs> and and Franklin mm -hmm. said that. I said, I'm strong. I can take it. And I'm like, you. <laughs> and now. Right. Right. It's so like you have a battle. And there's been times for sure that I was like, I hate you, soul. You mother effing piece of shit how how is that I felt so alone and we're talking like a decade and a half I was just trapped in hell and so um and and all of us especially you know got what you've gone through I I don't even have words for Mila so the fact again that we're alive and we're here we finally get to a place that we realize because it gets lighter because of all the work we've done and all of this constant, like, look at Mila. She's an incredible example of just boom, 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 boom. And um, that's very, that's not easy. That's very hard. And yet she made it and she keeps going and she's better than ever because she's re-knowing who she really is at her core through all that. She's returning to her God spark, her God essence, her mastery. And so we are amazing and that's that reminder that it actually can ease and it will it will it's just keep going keep going through it all if you're not dead and you're still here it's for a reason it's for yeah. a reason and we're in the magical parts now we really are you know when when mila called me i was already feeling for a few days something big is coming mm -hmm. and i'd already just had reconciliation within myself that i know myself and I don't care now anymore what anyone outside of me says. I know me and I know what I hold and I know what I came for because I can't let this thing go even if I try. And if I try to fit in and squeeze into the limited, I feel repulsive. Like I, I don't, I can't do it. I can't compromise my own integrity at, anymore. And that brings you to a certain level of strength of knowing yourself you know that know thyself it really is about that and then you can actually accept all the parts of you these role players and thank them because they triggered you into you had to get to know you mm -hmm. 
Just like you had to realize you have a choice. You went years and years of not knowing you had a choice as Elsa and you discussed on that call because we were blocked. It was by design. We didn't know we had a choice. We, we were at a certain level of awareness and we had to suffer and go through because that's what we came for is to know what that's like. And as the bigger me, it makes sense. You see the beauty, you see the play and you have such reverence and honor and I don't even have words, you know, just deep depth of gratitude and compassion for the human, for you, for you, all of you what you go through, what you've been through. I mean, this shit is not for the weak. It's it's a very incredible, incredible being and soul that takes yeah. this on and goes through this. And so the good stuff, guys, the good stuff is here. And yes. we are finally able to access it. And we're finally in that place where we can grow through joy and play and fun. And so let's keep going because each one has their own unique, beautiful soul design and journey. Do not compare yourself ever. Just know you're fucking special. Everyone is or you wouldn't be here. And we're all equal and we all hold a beautiful jewel and gemstone inside of us. We are that. You are it. Yeah. And just keep reminding yourself, watch this video, you know, clip parts that you need. And just when you're having a bad day or shitty moment, put it on and be like, yes, because yeah. even I need reminders. We all do. And I loved how Elsa shared that she goes back and watches her videos because I was like, shit, I have that experience, too. When I'm down, like now I know I didn't know for a long time, but I only started doing videos in uh, August. And so I go back and I'm like, oh, man, thank God I have these recordings so I can remember because I'm like, that's real. That's integritous. I'm not making stuff up. We're not making anything up. You know, this is fucking real. This is the real realness. Okay. That upside down world, that matrix, as Mila pointed out, and Franco said this years ago too, it's all upside down backwards. It's all opposite. So yeah. know that the real world is what you feel in your pure heart, that joy, what you can call a fantasy, a dream. That's real. Yeah. That's real. And now is our time. Now is our time. Billions and billions of years went into this moment now. I remember Jason Estes sharing something, something about over 40 billion years. What we are doing has never been done. We blew ourselves up. That's we right. destroyed the planet multiple, multiple times, trying to get to this level of being able to hold these energies and these physicalities. And we finally fucking did it. You know, we Who's passed that? Jason Estes. He's right. I just am impressed. I <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He calls it the master line. Uh, it doesn't really matter. He talks about data points, which are just his way of measuring energies. But the master line was achieved, I think, end of November ahead of schedule, as you've talked about. But he said we've never made it to this. And uh, that's the intensity uh, compounded because we are at such a high frequency. And now the bursts of energies hit us harder. But hey, man, we were made for this. Yeah, you were yeah. built for this or you'd be dead. You were yeah. built for this. You were made for this. Your constitution, your strength. Obviously, we don't know how strong we are until we got to go through the shit. And yeah. the deepest, hardest, agonizing stuff, right? So remember that. Remember who you are. I've heard someone very high level. Uh, her name is Linda McGillis Good. And she's not an emotional person. She became emotional in an interview where she spoke about the human is the glory. The yeah. human is the glory. And that my heart just blew open. I knew that truth. She said, as a galactic walk-in, um, she can share that everybody is watching. Everybody is watching and we are the glory. She had tears in her eyes and she is not an emotional person. Yeah. So I want you to remember that. I want you to know that. It's true. It's very true. And there's, if I took that topic and went with it, we'd be on for a lot longer. I have to do dinner soon. Absolutely. But I was just looking. I was, you know, for you to go on to that, what you just spoke of and is the best way to close this conversation is, is, is you know, that compassion of self. 
that compassion, being gentle with yourself, for yourself, all others around us, we tend to give this to, and, and self needs this as well. You know, be compassionate with yourself, knowing that, you know, it's it, when things aren't easy, they, it doesn't always feel pretty. And it, it's, it didn't feel pretty when I was doing it. I'm surprised to hear, and I'm happy to hear that it didn't look like as much of a mess as it felt like. Um, and the thing is, is that we're all going to be doing this and to self judge is limiting too, you know, so give yourself that same love that you would afford anyone else, you know, and then give in a little bit more because she and he are the ones that need it the most right now. It starts from inside. So if you really do want to share out, I find that people try to share from an empty cup and there's nothing to feed from, you know, and so filling up yourself, taking that time that you need, allowing yourself, whatever it is, there's a lot of shouting, a lot of loud energy that needs to come out of people right now. If that's in song, if that's, you know, uh, doing something else, beating up old cars in a, in a wreck yard, whatever it is, let it out, let it out so you can then move on to this next beautiful thing. Tomorrow is the one, one, one portal here on this side of the hemisphere. And Odin's day, this is Thor's day, this is new moon, this is a lot of other things are coming in this day for everyone. And, and in honoring of this date, uh, Stacy and I are going to be coming, going live tomorrow <laughs> at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time, um, 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, if you can do your uh, math for that, for your time zone, that would be great. I'm not that versed. Um, so please join me for that. And then also on Friday, we will have the group Zoom at 4 p.m. Central Standard Time. So anyone who wants to join that free group Zoom that's not recorded or aired, you're welcome to join that. Thank you so much for joining me today, Sharmini. I really enjoyed this conversation. This has been so beautiful. It's so beautiful. I just want to point out when you said tomorrow it was 2.04.44 on the recording, <laughs> it was full of fours. Yeah, and um, Mila, I just have to say on behalf of all of us, a fucking huge thank you. A huge thank you. I don't have words for how much you do. Like today, me, Elsa, two days ago, you come on on your own on Sunday. Now, Friday, uh, the call that you do the Zoom. Uh, Stacy, tomorrow. I mean, you're a machine, girl. You're fucking awesome. So just I know we all wouldn't be here again without you in terms of our connection, all of this. So thank you. And what you share and all you go through and endure is amazing. So I just want to say this is she never actually ask for anything Mila never does but if you are moved in any way shape or form her donation link PayPal is there Mila does so much uh, just you know out of her own pocket and just for free for everyone so if you feel it in your heart these are the new energies you know everything is going to be free soon <laughs> I really feel that I'm like no need for passports you know this is what I know in me so know thyself and let's do this guys let's Let's do, do this it. thing. Let's do this thing. And then we can. It. If you're not in the shift, you're in the shit. I heard that today. <laughs> you know what? Choose. You get to choose. You shift Sorry. or you shit. Right? <laughs> I mean, that's not Come I mean. join us. Come <laughs> join. Because we're all one. We're all one. And we're all here now. We're all here now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. And to answer this question, I see that uh, Maria has provided um, Sharmini's link to her YouTube channel, though I would let you all know I tried to actually put it in the title and you can't do it until it's post-production. So in an hour, once it's done doing it, then I'll put in a link to her channel from this uh, video so you can find her. She also is on YouTube or it's also on Facebook. Um, it's just, it's she's got some cool, awesome stuff that comes through. So thank you for asking. So I remember to say that um, I will be posting that, um, like I said, within an hour or so. So if you can't thank find you. it through Maria, Diamond Heart 888, um, that's ZK. I think she has it in there. So yes, yes thank you. Diamond so Heart 888, that's the name Soul Guided. And so, yes. Easy. Thank, Thank you. you. I love you. I love you and I love all of you. And so does Mila. We're all one. Thank you. We're all one. And I'll see y'all.
until tomorrow. Yeah. Happy new.